You don't see this too often as two players mark the ball. The umpire can't decide who's actually marked the ball, so he pays this as a ball up. seen that too often a jump ball in basketball terms umpire saying they both had an equal amount of it Parker takes a pretty strong mark and then goes back for the check side kick for goal and he's just so casual with it he's got plenty of time and space and he goes through he's very casual here Hey everyone, if you do like these videos then please do leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Anyway, thanks for watching, let's continue. If you take a look at how much time is left and also the score, the Swans have a chance to rack up 200 points here and he's directly out in front but somehow McLean misses this easy goal. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Back to Blakey to bring up 200 from the back line. Drives it forward to Fox. Robbie plays on. Handball in board. McLean misses it. Jake Stringer has put his name in the hat for goal of the year contender. He kicks it off the ground. And this is an incredibly hard shot, but it goes through for a goal. Had it lost at Guelphy. Little shark in play. Stringer on the left boot. It couldn't. What's Jake? Caminiti provides a block for Hill to get the ball and he goes through and kicks a goal. The odd thing I found here was the person in the crowd has a card of him. I think it's him, but this is pretty cool. I'd love to see this a little bit more on TV, things like this. It's pretty cool to see. Humphrey from the Suns has taken a shot at goal here and even he knows it's touched. He lets the umpires know but they still review it and yep, it's touched. I think Lipinski has given Keys the yep, yep, yep and he receives the ball straight from Ben Keys. This is pretty funny. He's, uh, yeah, passed it to someone who's not on his team. Pat needs to learn to move out of the way here and he has paid the price. This looked like it would have hurt something shocking. He was very close to throwing up. Man up. If they didn't man up, they found the free and then hit a nice movement. They made St Kilda man up. If they didn't man up, they found the free and then hit a nice... It looks like Brayshaw here is absolutely disgusted that he's on the big screen at the footy. After Mason Cox kicks a goal, there's a little bit of scuffle here, but Ben Keyes actually takes the sunnies off his head. I think he'll actually cop a fine for this. Stocker has tackled Hipwood, and this is a dangerous tackle. I think this one was reported, but I think it was okay in the end. Anyway, Hipwood then lines up for goal after the siren and he gets way too close to the men on the mark and then shanks the kick completely. So he can't deviate off the line, Hipwood. Whether Joe Danaher actually did get a push for this or not, I don't know but he completely just flops the flying through the air going for the free and the umpire does not pay it. Darcy just gets way too close to the man on the mark and it ends up kicking it straight into him. After Darcy takes the kick, look how close he is to Phillips. He's just far too close. Did Hardwick actually take this ball through? From the footage that we can see, it kind of looks like it doesn't actually go through for a behind at all. Caminiti takes the mark and he probably knows that he's right on his limit on his distance, so as soon as he gets touched, he just completely flops down to the ground. After the ball goes through for a behind, Hardwick and King here have a little bit of a wrestling thing. It kind of reminds me like how you'd wrestle with your brother or something. 
Gary Rowan absolutely clean knocks out Jeremy Cameron. Luckily, he was fine the next day. He was back on his farm doing some funny stuff, as he always does. I probably expect that he will miss the next week's game due to the concussion protocols. He was knocked clean out. Poor old Leicester's getting absolutely bashed around the throat the last couple of weeks. As you see, King here takes a swipe at him. I'm not sure if he really connects that hard, but it'll be interesting to see what the MRO does with this one. Maynard thinks he's playing soccer out here or something. The ball comes his way and he just rebound kicks it back to where it came from. The Suns have the game well and truly won by this point, but you can see that they are team players and there's a few kicks inside the forward 50 and anyone can take the shot at goal, but they pass it and eventually get it to King to take the last shot of the game. This is really good teamwork here by the Suns, even though they were up by so much and the game was pretty much over. After Cozzy Pickett almost gets the ball and gets a clean shot at goal, he fumbles the ball down onto the ground, but that's no worries because he just suckers it off the ground for a goal. For Cozzy Pickett. Just walks Buse away, gets in his way. Buse's Pickett's man gives... Bruin has the ball and it looks like he's just kicking it into space to try and get the ball towards one of their forwards inside the forward 50 and he gets a very lucky bounce and this eventually goes through for a goal. Direction to the top of the square, the ball sails. Might do just a little bit better than that. Yes, I am a Crows fan, but take a look at Taylor Walker's set shots at goal from this 48 meter mark on the 48 degree angle. He has a very high set shot, and this one goes through for a goal as well. After all the dangerous tackles that we see week in, week out, I'm not sure how this one wasn't paid as a dangerous tackle. It's a crushing night for the Eagles. The umpire here just clean blocks Tom Mitchell and he doesn't get a chance to chase down Dawson. And yet another umpire block here but this one against Geelong. They eventually get the ball and go down towards the 450 so I guess this one is fine but yeah the umpire just blocks him. I'm really not sure about this one. I know the AFL are trying to get rid of these dangerous tackles, but this one looked perfectly fine to me. He sort of does flop his head a little bit into the ground, I guess, but this looked like a pretty perfectly fine tackle to me. And finally, how good was this tap on from Heaney here, the double fister to get it towards goal, and Amadi kicks the goal. If you've watched this video all the way to the end, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to leave a comment, leave the word bloods in your comment. Get creative. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for the suspension video.